Hey, what's up? This is Robert Mulo for SpreadLifeVest.com. Manifest Shortcuts. In this video, we're going to be talking about is college necessary? So before we dive into the actual topic, I want to propose to you a question. Let's say I had a business model and I'm proposing you this model to you. So you can either accept or decline. So I tell you, I meet you in the streets one day and I'm like, Hey, I got this really, really nice idea. You can make a lot of money. It's going to cost you $50,000 a year for four years straight. And then after the four year, you'll be able to make $50,000 plus yearly. You would look at me like, hell no, right? Because for, for a couple different reasons here, one, you don't know me, two, you don't trust me. But realistically speaking, this proposition is the same kind of business model as college. College is actually proposing the same kind of question. Hey, pay X amount of dollars now. In the future, you'll get a job that pays you X amount of dollars. That's going to reward you in the long term. So how come when I ask you that question, it was hell no. But then with college, it's like, well, yeah, it's okay. And there's a couple reasons for that. Reason number one is since we were real young, that idea of college has been so drilled into our brain. It was like since, I don't know, even like 10th grade, we go to high school so that we can get to college. And then college is going to be able to help us build the future that we want. Right. But as you get older, you start to realize that there is a lot of disappointments. There's a lot of things that are not so obvious. There's a lot of things that are just... Kind of like he said, she said. But let's go back to the 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 actual proper like the pro proposal. So I I told you that proposal, 50k a year for four years straight, and then after the four year you start making 50k plus on average. How come you told me that no? But college is essentially the same thing. Colleges is basically telling you invest your time, your money right now, and then you'll get a job in the future that will make it rewarding in the long term. And everyone's kind of like spoon feeding this idea that college is this kind of like this um the savior. But ultimately, really, college is just another business model. And they're taking money from people to get inside that business model. But if I asked you that same question on the street, you would have told me no. So what was the problem here? Like, what what was the big difference? Well, Gerardo, you know, I don't really know you. I don't really trust you. I don't really know if what you're going to do, if what you're actually offering me is actually going to work or not. All right, that's fair. But then how come college is okay? Many people come out of college, don't get the jobs that they want. They're in debt. And they spend a long time before they actually find the job that they they wanted or just any basic job just to help them cover the basic the basic cost of living. So how come when we talk about college, like college is okay? Why is that? Well, Gerardo, everyone's doing it. All my friends are doing it. My mom and dad told me since I was young that college was a ticket to success. Hold on a second. There's a lot of things flickering in the background. So yeah. Since I was young, mom and dad told me that college was the ticket for success and whatnot. 
And this is just an example of how college was drilled into our brains from very, very, very young. Sorry, I got the itch. They presented college to us as if it's this end all, be all, be educated. You're so smart because you finished a college degree. You're going to make a lot of money because you made a college degree. You just work so hard for a college degree. And what I don't like is that they presented college as a package that is the end all be all. But realistically speaking, they just indoctrinated everyone into that package because, well, I mean, it's just the right thing to do, right? And then, you, you know, you'll probably, like, some people will probably tell me, hey, yeah, Gerardo, like, everyone's doing it. My mom is doing it. My mom told me to do it. My father told me to do it. My father said the right thing. And it's one of those things that by going to college is going to make them proud. It's going to make them happy because they're going to see me as successful, as a successful contributing member of society. Right? So that's what we think and that's what we say. And that's the kind of a script that has been told to us. Go to school and get an education happily ever after. Mom and dad is happy because you follow the script. And they're so happy because you did the right thing. And everyone is so in agreement with this that it's like, it's like, wow, great, great job, great job. Great pat in the back. Me personally... My level of uh, intelligence was kind of far beyond. I already seen past the smoke and mirrors when I was young. I seen past all of that nonsense. I seen past the college. I seen past this, like the the job. All of these are just traps. They're all ultimately just traps. However, at the end of the day, you need to find success. You need to find ways to make money. You need to find ways to provide food on the table, get the resources that you need, get clothes that you need. These things all affect your self-esteem. So if you don't have the bare minimum, then yes, these things will absolutely affect your lifestyle. They will affect your psyche. They will affect how you feel about yourself. But I hate the way that they presented college to all of us they made it seem like it was if it was bigger than what it really was and i already seen past it i seen past it but problem with me was that i didn't have i was going through a lot of deficit on my own to kind of um i'll do the whole my plan was to at 18 skip work skip college by 25 retire had my own business making 6k figures and just concentrate on the areas that I want to concentrate on. Things that I find fulfillment. And then I would also be able to focus on my spirituality. And involve myself spiritual. Because when you're doing these things that are eating up your time. Soaking up all your time. They're taking time away from the things that you actually want to focus on. And that's another problem with these things. Because college is an all-day job and they don't even pay you in fact you pay them to give you homework so that you can do it I mean this business model sounds like sounds like a pure sounds like a scam to me but how come college is okay how come no one complains about college how come in the mainstream media is perfectly fine with college it's because everyone's doing it. And because everyone's doing it, it's okay. Another thing that's it's also reinforced by the, the marketplace where it's saying, all right, you need a bachelor's degree, you need an associate's degree. But one thing is, you can be wise, you can be intelligent, you can have knowledge, 
without having a degree. Okay, so the two are not really necessarily dependent on each other. Sorry, I got a scratch. Point being is you can have a, not a lot of knowledge without even needing a degree. And you know why? Because there's a lot of knowledge on Google for free. You can learn so much information on Google for the cost of nothing. And you watching this video right now is a great example of this. You're watching this video of me explaining my thoughts and opinions on this uh, on this subject here for free for absolutely nothing to you and there are really amazing books very inexpensive books affordable books that can help you become more knowledgeable as well to life in general I'm pro uh, I'm going to be linking a couple of good books that I believe is are that I believe are a great references to really build up your your mindset, your inner your inner skills, your ability to manifest. And I'll also be putting my my own personal ebook down there down below. But the point is if we're going to go against a, a a certain if we're not going to do the full path we need to go a different route okay and the route that i every so all right draw if we're not going to do the college game what are we going to do then i would if i would advise you to start your own business start your own lifestyle business start coaching provide services promote products even if you do your business part time and you have a job and then you do school, whatever, everyone in this day and age should have their own little business that they do. Because you'll find that business is way more rewarding. Because when you do business regarding the things that you enjoy, the things that you love, the things that you like, it doesn't even feel like work anymore. It feels like you're just getting paid to do the things that you enjoy. And people will appreciate your work. And that's even better. It's like, whoa, this is a this is amazing work. I know many of you guys read a lot of my work and you guys really like my work. I'm a great writer. Right? I write very simple. Now if I was to go in English slash and write, they will give me F's. That's pretty funny, right? But notice how my writing is very impactful to you guys. Uh, many of you guys thank me or like are just like, wow, man, this this stuff here is very um, powerful, made it very meaningful. Like I actually was able to get something from from your work, from your writing, and it, it affected me in, some, in a lot of different ways. And I'll tell you, if I go to college and I write, I'm going to get an F. Because I have to write the way that they want me to write. I have to write about things that they want me to talk about that I'm not familiar with. About stuff that I really am not interested in. So they're forcing me to do what they want me to do. But my work is based on my connection with source consciousness, with God. And I get... Like I'm very tapped into the flow of life. So essentially I'm getting amazing ideas, amazing downloads. And sometimes I meditate. And then these ideas pop up into my mind. And then I'm like, all right, this is the idea we got to work on today. In fact, this is the idea that I was meditating about today. For some reason, this video came out and came out while, while I was meditating do you need a college degree particularly it came out as do you need a college degree to be spiritual but I'm, I'm it, I decided to make it more general but no you don't even need a college degree to be spiritual 
Spiritual is about reflection, your own connection with your source. Reading books that will help you to understand these concepts, the words, and the meanings behind certain things. But other than that, you can learn and do things on your own. You don't need a college degree. College degree is an extremely massively outdated system. In fact, it wasn't even like it's not even invented the way it's it's portrayed. Right now, the college system is a business. Just you know, spend four years here, get your degree, go get a job, right? But originally, college college was created for the to produce factory workers. Okay. College was also produced to weed out incompetent people. So that's another, I mean, that that is one of the uh, pros of having a college degree is that it shows that, okay, that you are intelligent, that you are disciplined to, to go through this. So it does set you apart from like the, the big uh, marketplace. But ultimately, it's like a scam, but it's not a scam. And what I mean by this is they box you in into this option. They box you into this program that you just accept just because they told you that in high school. Mom and dad told you that. Mom and dad didn't even encourage you. Mom and dad, are, like they get excited and happy about the fact that you're pursuing your studies and this and that. But here's the thing. You can learn online for free. Create your own business model. Create your own business strategies. The same amount of work that you will be doing in college, if you applied it in your own business, you'll be making more money on the long term. Maybe not. Not a, maybe it, it probably won't be an instant fix because these things do take time, right? I'm not gonna lie to you. These things do take time. Growing your business, growing the inner skills, developing the confidence. These things take a lot of time, but they are very, very rewarding because think about it. How much is freedom? How much does freedom mean to you? What is the cost of freedom for you? Freedom away from the program world, freedom away from college. Freedom away from work. Think about it. How long do you have to work for? When you get a job, you ha- you're in that you're in that job forever. Okay, like you will always be stuck at a job. Whereas if you work for yourself, you have a lot more freedom. You work when you want. You can hire people to help you do the miscellaneous things that you don't want to do. You be improving a wide range of skills that are far more important than the things that college is teaching you college is just teaching you a general form of education that has no significant that is not significant whatsoever they don't teach you any kind of they don't teach you anything that's useful but when you have a business you learn so much life skills so much life knowledge and you also learn how to evolve yourself as a person so that's why i recommend people just get into business but at the same time on everyone is at different stages in their life sometimes you need to get a part-time job just to get you that little that little money to, to start up and um maybe you already have enough money and you're like you know what fuck college let me just do my own business make sales that's it and it really is ultimately depending on where you're at in your personal life but i just wanted to to share with you the fact that college is not what it seems college is not the end all be all now if you're someone who got your college degree that's fine there's nothing wrong with that okay 
I'm not bashing you. I'm not against you for that. But what I'm saying is for the mainstream, for the mainstream audience, college was drilled inside our head as if it was some sort of savior to us. But really, for most people, it just put them in debt, wasted their time, didn't put money in their pockets, became a, a lot more stress. It gave them more stress than was required. And that's why in this video, I just wanted to tell, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on college. Now let's 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 summarize this because I could speak about this for like an hour for hours. <sighs> College is a waste of time, okay? Unless you ha unless you desire a certain job that you need a college degree for. For example, you want to become a doctor, you want to become a lawyer. But let's say you want to become a businessman. You don't need a college degree to, to do business. Just go online and learn how to set up your own business. Honestly, like it's funny how that sounds. Create a YouTube channel, create a blog, create a website, coach, sell your services, promote services, make commissions. Once you start diving into this world, you learn that you can really, really, really control your life the way you want to control it, as opposed to letting all these other people dictate your reality dictate what you think because college honestly is not what it is it's not what it is you can read books that will give you more insightful knowledge and i'm going to be giving you a couple books down below that i think that is very very inspirational as well as insightful for you to open your mind and expand your mind one of them is going to be Manifest Shortcuts, of course, by yours truly. But there's also a lot of other books that I find very, very profound in terms of like breaking out of the, the system, breaking out of the, the hive mind. Sometimes you need to go against the current and do your own thing, especially if you're spiritual. Especially if you're someone who is not able to adapt to that lifestyle or maybe not even adapt to that lifestyle, but maybe that lifestyle is just not for you. There's a great sense of pleasure when you work from home and you don't have to, you don't always have to kiss ass to nobody. You don't compromise who you are. There's a great sense of joy and pleasure. When you work at a job, you are always like stressed, nervous. You're afraid to say the wrong things and blah, 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 blah. All right, so this video has gone long enough. I'm going to be providing you with tools and resources down below that will assist you in terms of your mindset, as well as also help you to start up your own business and giving you ideas for how to utilize your skills to your advantage so that you can get paid. I have an ebook called Dominate the Online Business Game that I'm going to be giving it to you guys for free down below. Just check it out. It's called Dominate the, on Dominate the Online Business Game. It's completely for free. Just click on the link, download it, and you'll get some ideas from there. It's great for beginners. It's great for intermediates. And even a lot of people who are vans, they'll see a lot of things in there that is worth that's worth taking a look into. So for now, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.